She is a lovely, and she is so lovely. Lovely, lovely. Where have your children gone? They want to run. I noticed they were. Where have. Remember that? Oh, you probably would. You know, it used to be where have all the flowers gone? You remember? Yeah, Johnny. Johnny who? Rivers! Johnny Rivers! Yes! And then it ended up where have all the children gone? Yes. They're all rushing out to buy carotype. <laughs> but, Terry. He's coming to one of the casinos in Seattle. Really? Hmm. God, he'd be old now, wouldn't he? I went to, this is funny, I went to see Bobby Rydell and uh, Frankie Avalon out at Rivers, not Rivers Reach, uh, the one in uh, Coquitlam. Yeah. No, the Rocks down in Richmond, but the other one uh, in Coquitlam. That's the one on United Boulevard. Yeah, the one on United Boulevard. Me and my friend went this book five years ago. Anyhow, you just you still picture these guys as they were when you when you're young. Yeah. <laughs> and Bobby Rydell had just had a hip operation, <laughs> and he came on the stage like this. <laughs> it was, you know, it, it was, Frankie Avalon was pretty much the way he always used to be. Poor Bobby Rydell had really aged. <laughs> and of course, all Bobby Rydell's songs had all those backup singers, but they didn't have the backup singers with them, and so it was really different. You know, none of that, and they didn't even have it, like on a karaoke, no backup. It was just him without the backup. Interesting, anyway. I'm filling in time, yeah. <laughs> Sin Coon. Come up here and don't be sinful. <laughs> be a good boy. Come up to the stage and thrill us. Thanks, Sin. He is taller than me, so. Adjustments need to be made. There we go. Okay. I need to say this uh, from my family to you. My grandmother, um, I'm fortunate, I came from the generation that was after the war. But my grandmother was very affected by the war with Japan in China and the atrocities. Uh, well, 10 years ago, uh, there was a, a Chinese woman student. She was born here, but she took it upon herself to make the world know about the Nanjing Mass Massacre. And she collected artifacts, and she made a documentary, and then she lost her life doing that. So I, uh, I read briefly through your book, and there's one message I got from that is, nothing is lost. So in a way, it tied in with what I'm going to read for you today. When I came here a few weeks ago, Candy said it's going to be a weekly thing. I thought, that's a lot to come up with new poems every week. And, and uh, the time went by, and one night I could not sleep. So instead of watching television, I went through my bookshelf looking for my old writings, notebook journals. So something old, something new. It came out a series called uh, in song near dialogues. And that's what it is. So because of this, it happened. And I wrote the preface to that. There is a difference between cannot fall asleep and staying awake. One is a physiological phenomenon. The body is agitated, the heart is restless, and the mind is disturbed. The other is a creative experience. Outwardly, I try to stay in silence. But inwardly, I was aware. I was not alone in my, in my head. There were thousands or millions of voices in there, men and women, anyone I chose to be, lover, friend, father, brother, player, spectator. Ultimately, something brought me back to, to myself. I was no longer one of many, but just one, me. I picked up a pen and began to write. And this is the first one. Insomnia Dialogue, number one. Parting way with insomnia, a dialogue on luminosity. Warm bed. Cool dreams. 
inner life, outside time, diffusion, raindrops on color fields, distraction, and emphasis on white, small lives falling apart to seek the greater truth. All doors are turned to face me, answering the call. The luminous charm of quiet laughter echoes through time. The warm glow of a soul's silent whispers, a beam that shines. Early hours, intimate conversations, Transcendence, awake till dawn. Compassion, a sweet life song. Freedom, always in motion. Small lives falling apart to seek the greater truth. Circle the sun, the journey home. One more. Insomnia dialogue number two. Full moon, midnight sky, warm thoughts, cinnamon tea. We sit together, thoughts flow in slow time. The clock ticks, the midnight hour, plans reach out to touch me. Shadows move aside by a pure light. My friend, you're going to fly as a dream comes through your bedroom door. A scent of presence pins you to your chair. All the feelings rush into your heart. The road to freedom has just begun. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Thank you.